Hi, this is uh, Masud Perfez Nilai. I'm principal engineer from SQA and today we're going to have one demonstration on Android Wide Driver. Uh, we'll know how it works and how we can use it in our testing or implementation. So first I would like to know how of, of you have the previous experience on Selenium. Okay. How many of you already have the experience in um, Cucumber? Okay. Uh, so let's start it. So first question will be like this. So what is ac actually Selenium? Selenium is a suite of tools to automate web application testing across many platforms. Selenium runs in many browsers and operating systems. The other most important thing of Selenium is it's, uh, it's freeware. You don't have to pay anything for using it. Normally, if you go any kind of automatic test tool, automatic test tool, so it will be very costly. Like silk test, you have to pay a lot of money to get the test, but it is totally free. Uh, let's talk about the versions. In version Selenium have two versions. Previously, what we were using, there was the Selenium 1, and recent days, Selenium come with a new version that is the Selenium 2, uh, with a lot of extra features and compatibility. So let's talk about the updates what are available in Selenium 2. The first one I would like to tell that mobile application testing in the Selenium 1 was not able to perform mobile application testing but Selenium 2 have the feature Firefox 5 and 4 support experimental i9 and Chrome support and at the last I would like to point out that WebDriver is a really really useful tool uh, we're going to have a detailed look later on on this thing. So, life before the web. How was that? Let's imagine that is the total application market. is a blank whole world globe. And yesterday, it was something that was a small hole inside the big ball. That is HTML and JS. And today, HTML5 and JS is already available there and it is expanding all over the application market uh, to, to gain more, to increase its kingdom inside the market. And I'm like, you already know HTML5 and JS evolution already happening. Uh, for this thing, we already have um, a phone gap or this kind of thing, and this kind of thing are really do dominating right now and the data is every day data is increasing a lot of billion million data are increasing in your database so you have to find some way to automate your things to make it efficient and two days I say already the architecture is still 5 and J is there and increasing and our selenium file is living inside the still file and JS and let's talk about the feature. It's tomorrow, HTML5 or JS will conquer almost the whole application market. So the potentiality of the Selenium that so you still with this is still five and JS, so you also be a part of the winning team of the domination of HTML5 and JS. And you can test all over them. And the when I talk about the mobile application testing, the two native OS coming to us that is what is iPhone and Android. Selenium 2 have the testing mechanism for both of them right now. And today my demo is going to Android and Selenium. So Android and Selenium 2 
how they are interacting with children. This is possible to interact between them because Selenium 2 has introduced a new driver called Android driver. With the Android driver, we can perform the test in the Android for Selenium 2. Now let's talk about the web driver. What is actually web driver? This is a new technology that Selenium 2 was built on, which gives the test direct access to browser without the need to run an intermediary proxy server. You know, you know guys, the who already run the before on a test. So what we used to do, we had a controller the controller used to interact with the proxy server and proxy server used to interact through, through the application in the browser and it launched but now it's, 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 it's a really past story now we have direct access to browser there's a controller it can access directly to the browser by using web driver so you see it's much, much convenient and the propagation delay also been decreased. So let's talk why web driver. Because the first I like to tell web element find web element that file element is uh, universal, all US are trees, and second I like to tell many operations are universal between all UIs. Some matching I'd like to tell that clear. Click always. Oh, click is really funny. Should be should be should be touch. Maybe in next video it will be do. Then find element by ID, by value, by expat, whatever you, you you can use it for here. And thirdly, I like to tell web element dot find element is universal in all the web trees. And web has DOM. Windows has HWNTS. Android has views. Each UI element kinds has a set of attributes that can be searched on. And the fourth one I like to tell extensible API. WebDriver API extension such as Rotatable. Then I like to tell changing a new API for every platform is cumbersome instead. And last is I like to tell, facilitate piecewise code reuse. We are all software guys, so we know code reuse is really important in QA. So we have to hundred tests right now, so we can write automate hundred test case. At a few days, you had to in the same project you had to write thousand tests. So you have to throw that. So you will you throw like to throw those hundred tests and write to again a thousand tries? No, it's not possible. Somehow we have to find a way to reuse the hundred script, which will be support for our thousand new test cases. This is the thing. It's really efficient and really time effective. Let's talk about Android native driver architecture. Here we have two columns. The left is for Android device and right is test. Let's call it our controller. So how controller and the server or device or emulator, whatever you say, the communicating. In the test, there is a test code, the Java, is directly interacting with the Android driver Java. It has one component, remote web driver client Java. This is the, the interacting party of this controller and the same thing are also built on inside the device or server or emulator that is Android driver Java and it also have the uh, another component remote web driver server Java but it's server and was client so they these two communicate with each other by HTTP or JSON protocol and and when it, it receives something from the remote web driver client to server then it 
to communicate with the actual application dot Java, and for this thing we have, we pass one framework to make the connection um, more control and efficient. And let's talk about now we uh, set up this Selenium for Android. First, you have to go with the SDK, then install the emulator. There's a version problem currently. Kind of 2.2 is the most uh, suitable one uh, for emulator. But uh, if you go for, want to go with this um, device directly, it's okay. If you you can go with the 32. Uh, then start the emulator. Then install the application then set up port forwarding now it's, it's a really important issue because selenium uh, web driver listen the port only 8080 so before you start the test you have to forward the port to 8080 then uh, install web driver uh, on real device and then run your test So actually what we are doing this thing by, by this thing? Supply actually we supply a UI automation solution for native application through an exceeded web driver API and started with Android or OS or Windows whatever you want. There is a uh, everything has some limitation, so the main problem you you are going to face with this thing that is it's slower than headless toolkit and support well 2.2 in the emulator but uh, 2.3 have some little problem 3 uh, currently android is trying to fix this problem I, I hope the very near future is going to be fixed and but, but, but the device is okay all version doesn't make any problem so it's time to demo so let's move forward to demo because it's the most important point right <laughs> so Oh, uh, let's start it. Before we move forward to demo, I'd like to first tell that uh, how the communication will be done uh, uh, from the controller, from the inside the emulator, the server. Uh, you can use uh, uh, Java or you can use uh, Python to, go, to make the communication between them. Uh, for, so first, I'd like to show you um, with, the, with the Eclipse by Java. Uh, and here I have already written one, one sample test for you that is uh, first I call the um, uh, Android driver then I call the page the driver then I get a trade slate because I want to make it uh, to give you some time to, to load the page so and then I move for the next so then I'll find the, the search box and after finding the search, search box I now I signing the sending the hotmail to the box and then press um, element submit that means submit it then I go for the mm, third slip because I want to give you some time to, to give me the source uh, result and when I get the source result then I'll get the page title and and drive a quit finish so uh, let's see um, to move it to do to this thing so first I have to forward the port I forwarded the port then I move forward to uh, to uh, to menu and then yeah this is my web driver application already installed in, inside the emulator so I'm gonna launch it yeah it's launching and now I have to look for an important mass masses over there that is um, um, Jerry Store yeah this Jerry Store means it's already been ready to work with this thing so uh, now can, I, I, I'm able to run the test in the emulator with the old driver. So I, I'm going to run it. Yes. Uh, yes, you can see now what driver is now loading, loading the page. Okay. Yes, it's already the Google page has been loaded over there. Now the next step, you will select the search box. So let's see. It will take a little time because um, the emulator is yes. You, you can see it's already been selected. 
Uh, now, if the search button is also being selected too, now it's writing the hotmail and press submit to go to get the search result. The page is loading again in WebDriver in, 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 in RGBAR. Yes, the search results are already been viewed over there. And yeah, my test has been completed. And you can see the green bar um, uh, runs one by one. No error, no failure, and the test has been successfully finished. Now, make a little more twist in this thing. We're going to see a very simple uh, of uh, beginning uh, test. So uh, let's move uh, some some form we have, some login form, username, password, and we'll submit. Okay, just pick one example like uh, Gmail. At Gmail, uh, I, I get the Android driver and, and selected the uh, Gmail. We can use uh, a mobile dot Gmail or you can use directly Gmail. Both is okay. Then I send a username and password and sign in. So I'm going to uh, run the code to see how it behaves. Yes, what driver is loading the page? Yeah, Gmail has been loaded over there. Now we selected the username, send the username now. You can see the box. Now it's shift to password field and type the password again. And now we need to go to to sign in, it will, it will submit. Yes, it has been submitted too. So, you know, Gmail have um, some uh, text some time to load in your browser. So, that does, that's the thing that propagation time is taking now. It, um, it, because you have to load a lot of things over there. It's loading, you can see. The orange bar increasing. Yeah, it's already been loaded. My Gmail has been loaded over there. And I can see um, the mail. Um, uh, inbox, uh, menu, search option, refresh. So uh, my test, uh, I want to have written up to now for the sample test. Uh, we, we have finished here, but but if you want, with this thing you can you can move forward more. You can select one email, open it. You can uh, click. Uh, actually, it's it's really funny if you want to see a uh, click because uh, Android never click. It should be touch, right? <laughs> But uh, anyway, this uh, uh, is, is a computer uh, Java call, so we write click should be pushed, but maybe in the future, in the near future, we got pushed. No, or tux. Tux. Uh, so we can have a click on, on, the, on the refresh button, search button. Mm, we can do more operation. Um, if only, when you explore, then you will know. Uh, then we have some uh, the, the result over here. You can see that it has been success, successful. The green bar is totally over there, uh, one by one, no error. Uh, this is my second uh, um, part of my uh, demo. Uh, okay, I will show you one more interesting thing. That is, uh, mm, I will, okay, uh, as an example, speak uh, CodePad. It's one uh, web compiler presented by Source Lab. Mm, over there, we can type any language code and compile, and you can see the output. Uh, okay, so here is that the code. Uh, I, yeah, but here I have used the expat like uh, by expat uh, to to select the Python because it had a lot of compiler uh, option to choose. So before that, I want to use one thread to to give it some time to see you. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to kick out my test. So how it runs? Yeah, you can see in the web drivers loading. Yeah, the code pad path has been loaded over there. By default, the C has been selected over there. But no, I want to go for Python. So you have to click the Python over there. Yeah, you can see this Python has been clicked. Now I'll select the text box. Yeah, it has been selected the text box. Now typing the code, how it work. Now you will press the submit button. Yeah, you can see the yellow bar. Then you can submit. submit yeah, now the output is also over there. Has been loaded. This that this uh, uh, Python output something as the syntax error over there because it is it, it is not written properly. Uh, then uh, you can uh, by assert or you can search over there to to check the output is correct or not. Uh, so you can see it is um, very flexible and in the end the result is already been mm, green. Bar totally successful over there. 
So by this way, you can you can uh, perform your uh, test with Android driver in 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 Android web application. But same time, I would like to um, show you some tricks to how to handle it out mm, in the uh, um, by Python. Um, that you maybe you some guys are very expert in Python, so maybe you also want to use by Python way. There's a Python way too. To install a Python, you first you have to install a Python client library. To install a Python client library, you have to pip install by uh, use Selenium. You have to use a command. Then you have to in import the Selenium to namespace. So from Selenium, import web driver. Then you have to choose which you want to work on. If you want, if you want to use it with iPhone, then you have to go for iPhone, and it has some extra another port to work on now android the, the port is always 8080 but if all you can work with this thing and uh, you can see you can also know that google chrome and, and firefox this it is a uh, uh, driver also available so that's it